I see so many golfers make this mistake. Buying the wrong shaft for their driver, their fairway woods. By the end of today's video, I'm gonna give you some sound advice which is crucial to maximizing your distance at your swing speed. So the reason for this video is I had a lot of clients and this time of year it's silly season, isn't it? It's the time all brand new drivers come out and we may be thinking about buying a second hand one from last year. And one of my clients bought one, bought the wrong shaft and wondered why their distance reduced massively. So here's some advice. I've got some criteria written down here. If your swing speed is under 75 miles an hour, right? You should be looking around that ladies to senior flex driver shaft, okay? If your swing speed is between 75 and 95 miles an hour, we're in that more regular area. Now that's where I think majority of people will lie. Only if you are 95 to 110 should you be looking at a stiff shaft. This is really, really important. And then if you are super fast, 110 plus, looking at extra stiff. Now, I want to get into this and explain why John was losing it low and right because his shaft was too stiff. And then we'll explain the opposite scenario as if it's too whippy for us, why we're gonna lose some control. Let's cover if your driver shaft is far too stiff for you. Now, this is probably the category that most of us are in. We may be getting a little bit older and we've still got an older driver in there and we're starting to see that ball go a little bit low and a little bit right and our distance reduce massively. So you've got to think, right? This driver shaft or any shaft in your irons has a little bit of play in it. And the role of the shaft is to allow you to square the face at the correct point. Now, if this shaft is far too stiff for a right-handed golfer, you are more likely to hit this ball away and lose it off to the right and it go very, very low because you're not producing enough speed to one, square the face, but two, create the speed to bring it in at impact. So if you come to down the line perspective here, I would see golfers, if we were sort of 95 and below, using a stiff to extra stiff shaft, which could have been good one day, or actually you've bought new now and just not getting on with it, hit shots that go a little bit low, a little bit off to the right, significantly reducing distance. So let's take it now to the opposite extreme. So the best way for me to actually, I'm gonna take my brand new glove off actually, I don't wanna get loads of mud on it. The best way to explain this, and this is what I had to John, because I use this all the time when we're coaching this club. Look how bendy this is, right? If you're a golfer who's ever tried to hit one of these, right? It's very, very hard to hit it straight because that club head is out of control. So if you're using a driver shaft or an iron shaft that is far too weak for you and weak being not stiff enough or more regular or ladies or senior flex, you're going to find when you hit shots away, yes, you might have some more speed, but sometimes your face will point out to the right. Other times it will point way off to the left. So this club right here for me explains why getting the right shaft is so, so important. We want the right shaft that allows us to transfer our speed and square that face into impact. So what I want you to do right now, okay, this is some really, really sound advice. Most driving ranges now have the ability to see how far our ball is going and actually monitor our club head speed. Or head down to your PJ Pro. Ask just to hit five shots. Have a look what your club head speed is. See what category you'll fall into from what we said at the start, and then you can make the right decision whether you're buying new, whether actually potentially it's time to upgrade. And that doesn't mean brand new, you could go second hand market, but making the right decision, choosing the right shaft is the best way to maximize your consistency and your distance. Just before you go, I have made this mistake and it's probably one of the worst mistakes that I made when getting a fit in. I went to get fitted for a driver. It was indoor. I spent all my time swinging it as fast as I could 
So I got fitted for something that, yeah, on my Sunday best was pretty good and did go pretty good. But you've got to think, we're looking for that consistency, aren't we? You've got to hit shots as if you were swinging out on the golf course. So smoothing it away. Your fairway finder swing, not your Sunday best swing. Because if we're honest, how often does that happen? Well, <laughs> we probably get one round in 10 where that is the case. So those nine other rounds, what I found was this driver, not this one right here, but when I did get fitted, just didn't perform and actually made me drive it a lot worse. So, so please, please, please make sure if you're going for a fitting or you're doing that sort of measure over five, 10 shots on your club head speed, it's like a smooth but powerful version of your golf swing, not your Sunday best Bryson mode, okay? Some vital advice there. Don't fall into the same trap I did. So thanks so much for watching. I look forward to joining you tomorrow at the same time.